Right now she's doing very well. Pastor Edward Palmer didn't think it was unusual when his wife and co-pastor Angie started to feel sick shortly after returning from a missionary trip to Uganda. Initially we thought that perhaps we just got a cold. But when her flu-like symptoms worsened, he took her to the emergency room at Hardin Memorial Hospital. He told doctors he suspected malaria. We told everybody if, uh, if the janitor came in the room, we just came from Africa, uh, which, you know, should set off some alarms for hepatitis, malaria. But he says she wasn't tested and they were sent home. Two days later, Angie collapsed and she was taken to the emergency room again. Her condition was grave. She was transferred to Lexington's UK hospital. When we got here, it was very easy. We've been to Africa. I think she might have malaria. Two hours later, not only could they tell me she had malaria, they could tell me the strain. Usually easily treated when caught, Angie's malaria had progressed to a life-threatening point. Her kidneys failed and she was placed on a ventilator. People soon flooded a church website with prayers. For people I don't know, people all over the country. We've got people from uh, Europe, from Africa, uh, contacting us and, and concerned about her. So it does uh, help a lot. Her husband now wishes he had pushed for more tests in the ER. I do think that patients need to be listened to.